None of our horses are ever really as soft as we want them to be. Would you guys agree? And whether you're going to cut or cow horse or whatever, the softness in a horse's face is what makes everything kind of look really cool. Like the minute you take a hold of one and it goes, or shakes its head or whatever, and you go, yeah. So we're going to work on some softness and collection. And one of the exercises, the exercise we actually started off with, is when you, like the Spanish tradition, like we would normally have chains on these reins mm -hmm. and then the buttons and it creates the weight that makes the drape in the rein and so the Spaniards in their in their wisdom would ride a horse on a draped rein and then when they picked up the slack before they ever even made contact when they picked the slack up the horse would give his face and back up so they never had to pull them to back them so it was this this motion right here and see that's not really good enough but you know I've kind of been demoing on him a little bit so he's kind of getting a little sloppy but when the slack comes out of the reins he should meet that and back up off of it and the more that I have to actually pull him and beg him to back up the heavier he's going to be on his front end right because he's making me do half the work and if I want him to do all the work I have to make him stay honest to that and when I back him I have to make sure that he picks his shoulders up and gets off the bit. So if his shoulders don't come up and back off, I'm going to just use my feet in front of the cinch just a little bit more and wave them at him and tell him, hey, pick those shoulders up. You know, you need to go back like you're going somewhere. And the second that I feel that, I'm going to stop. So I'm rewarding what I want. I want that softness when I pick the reins up. I want him to pick his shoulders up and gauge his rear end and get going. And if he did that the first step, that's all I would do. If it took me halfway across the arena, I'd still go halfway across the arena until I felt his shoulders come up and him actually move like he's got to go somewhere. And the minute that he does, I want to release because horses learn from the release of pressure and not the application of it. And what that mouthful means is that he learns to back up off the bit because the minute that he does, I release the pressure. It's not because I pick up the reins and I make him back up. It's because the minute that he backs the way I want him to, I release the pressure. Okay? So I have to be careful what I reward too, right? So if we're backing and he's acting like he's got cement in his feet, and I say, okay, good boy, that's what I'm going to get next time, just that same amount of try. Or if he has his head on upside down but he's backing up and I release him, then I'm telling him that that's what I want him to do. So whenever I go to back him up, he'll back like he's getting shot out of a rocket with his head up in the air. So if he backs up like that, I'll have to let him back up fast until I can work his head down. And when his head's here and then I let him be, that's, that's where he'll end up going. So we want to be really careful what we reward. And we want to be careful that we reward it quickly. And then that there has to be something in it for them, which means that they get to stand there for a minute and take a breath and go, yeah, whew. 